In this video series, we'll simulate a fluid structure interaction using the fluent and mechanical solvers connected by system coupling. In this video, part one, we'll set up a fluid flow simulation that uses the fluent solver and a transient structural simulation that uses the mechanical solver. The case involves a closed, fluid-filled cavity with a thin plate that oscillates due to a temporarily applied pressure. The simulation runs for 10 seconds using time steps of 0.1 seconds. In this case, there is one coupling step per time step. Within each coupling step, there are iterations called coupling iterations at which system coupling transfers data between the fluid and structural solvers. To model the plate, we'll use a transient structural simulation that uses the mechanical solver. This simulation will receive force data from the fluid analysis at each coupling iteration. We'll name this system structural. To model the fluid in the cavity that surrounds the plate, we'll use a fluid flow simulation that uses the fluent solver. This system will receive displacement data from the structural analysis at each coupling iteration. We'll name this system fluid. For this case, it's best to set up, solve, and troubleshoot the two systems independently before adding the complexity of a coupled analysis. We're going to skip the independent analyses and begin the setup for the coupled analysis. The co-simulation, or cooperative simulation, of the structural and fluid behavior is controlled by system coupling, which connects the two simulations through the setup cell. It will control their processes and transfer data between the two systems at each coupling iteration. Let's skip ahead to when the fluid flow and structural systems are set up, so that we can overview the settings specific to a coupled analysis. The structural and fluid systems are now set up. This connection allows the systems to share one geometry file. When we view the geometry for this case, we can see that both the structural and fluid geometries are modeled. Let's look at the structural systems in mechanical and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis. Here, the fluid portion of the geometry is suppressed so that we are only working with the thin plate. The end time, which is 10 seconds for this case, is controlled by system coupling. Mechanical step end time must be at or after system coupling's end time. Mechanical's auto time stepping feature should normally be left off for a system coupling analysis since the time step size must be constant throughout the simulation. In mechanical, a number of substeps can be carried out within each coupling iteration. However, in this case, substepping is not necessary, so I'll set this value to 1. A fluid solid interface is applied to the three surfaces of the plate that are in contact with the surrounding fluid. On this interface, mechanical receives force data from, and sends displacement data to, system coupling. The mechanical setup is complete. Let's look at the fluid system in Fluent and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis. The structural geometry was suppressed during meshing, so now we are only working with the fluid in the closed cavity. Dynamic meshing is enabled in the fluid domain so that the fluid's mesh can move in response to the plate displacement. For the fluid walls that are coincident with the plate, the mesh motion option is set to system coupling. This option specifies that fluent will receive displacement data from and send force data to system coupling. The number of time steps and time step size are set to temporary values. System coupling settings will override these values. In a coupled analysis, max iterations per time step is the maximum number of times that Fluent can iterate within each coupling iteration. The Fluent setup is complete. This concludes part one of this video series. In part two, we'll set up system coupling and solve the coupled analysis.